You ever wonder why FANG, or better known as Facebook, Apple, Netflix, and Google, always seem to win? Meaning they literally just continuously kick the crap out of people, and, and some other ones too, but I'm focusing on the big four. So why do they have such a big, huge unfair advantage? I'll tell you right now, data, okay? It's all about the data. But before we get to the data, it has to start with hugely high profit margins. So the way these companies work, especially Google, who has huge margins on their advertising dollars because they've already built the infrastructure. They charge us a ton of money for ads. Facebook charges money for ads. All these things charge money for ads. They don't cost a lot of money, so they have these massive profit margins. So what do they do with all this profit, right? Well, what they do with this profit is based on what the data says, right? They follow us on whatever we do. They know, for example, on your smart TV, right? Your smart TV watches what you watch. It knows the shows that you like, and therefore it's targeting ads directly through your smart TV based on what you want. And if it's on the same IP address as your home computer, well then it's gonna show you those ads there as well, right? That smart TVs aren't just cheap, because you know, all of a sudden technology got super cheap. No, it's because they're supplemented by major amounts of ad dollars being driven to those TV manufacturers through different things like Netflix and Apple TV and all the different things that pay those subsidies because they're gathering tons and tons of data. So they know what you want. And what do they do with that data? They invest massive amounts of money into research and development credits, which turn into tax credits. They say, hey, I'm gonna spend a billion dollars of creating this da data set that's gonna tell me what you as a consumer want. And the US government and governments all around the world give them major tax subsidies. So what happens in the billions of dollars of profits, these R&D tax credits wipe out that income. So therefore they're paying very little money to the US government. So not only do they have fat profit margins, but now that profit is virtually untaxed in a lot of cases. So because of that awesome data that they collected and the research and development that they're really doing, they're going out there and either buying other businesses or creating other businesses to meet what you want. Because then through all that data, they then create that business. That business then gets put on their balance sheet that business starts running huge, making millions and billions of dollars. They take all the data that's been given from that new way to target you, whether that is Facebook back in the day buying Instagram, or we now have, you know, obviously all these different companies that are buying. We have, you know, um, that was just purchased Google and their electronic car company that they're doing. We had Amazon going ahead and being purchasing Whole Foods to know what you're shopping. All these companies constantly do this, right? And what do they do from that? They then take that data, market you, figure out what you want, make more money, and just reinvest in that wheel. So you can choose to really decide if you're gonna like a lot of these companies or you can get on the bandwagon like I did and make a lot of money trading their stocks because they're going to continue to win because they have so much data, you just can't compete as a small company. They know what you want before you even really know you want it and they're so targeted with delivering these new businesses to you because they've collected millions and millions of pieces of data from you. So I suggest jumping on the bandwagon of the Facebooks, the Apples, the Amazons, the Netflix, the Googles, all of these ones that do this and make money on their stock because they're not going anywhere. They're not going down anytime soon because unless you stop using them, they're knowing what you want before you want it and selling it to you.